Erythromycin stearate is a medication used to treat a wide variety of bacterial infections. It may also be used to prevent certain bacterial infections. Erythromycin is known as a macrolide antibiotic, and it works by stopping the growth of bacteria. It is important to note that this medication treats or prevents only bacterial infections, and it will not work for viral infections such as the common cold or flu. Using any antibiotic when it is not needed can cause it to not work for future infections. The dosage and timing of taking this medication should be determined by a healthcare professional based on the individual specific condition. When taking erythromycin stearate, it's important to follow your doctor's instructions. Usually, it's best to take it before a meal on an empty stomach, but if you feel nauseous, you can take it with food or milk. This medication has a bitter taste if crushed, so make sure to swallow it whole without chewing or crushing. The dosage and length of treatment will depend on your medical condition and how you respond to the medication. For children, the dosage is also based on their age and weight. To get the best results, take this antibiotic at the same time every day. If you're using erythromycin stearate to treat an infection, keep taking it until you finish the full prescribed amount, even if your symptoms improve. Stopping the medication too early can cause the infection to come back. If you're taking it to prevent bacterial infections, make sure to take it exactly as directed by your doctor and don't stop without their approval. When taking erythromycin stearate, you may experience symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, stomach pain slash cramping, and loss of appetite. However, taking this medication with food may help reduce these symptoms. If any of these effects persist or worsen, be sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist promptly. It's important to note that this medication has been prescribed because your doctor has determined that the benefits outweigh the potential risks of side effects. Many people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. However, it's crucial to seek immediate medical attention if you experience any serious side effects, such as signs of liver disease, unusual tiredness, muscle weakness, trouble speaking, blurred vision, hearing loss, severe dizziness, fainting, fast-slash-irregular heartbeat, or symptoms of a severe intestinal condition caused by a bacteria called C. difficile. Prolonged or repeated use of this medication may lead to oral thrush or a new yeast infection. If you notice any new symptoms, such as white patches in your mouth or a change in vaginal discharge, be sure to contact your doctor. While very serious allergic reactions to this drug are rare, it's important to seek medical help immediately if you notice symptoms such as rash, itching slash swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so be sure to contact your doctor or pharmacist if you notice any other effects not listed. Remember not to use antidiarrhea or opioid products if you experience certain symptoms, as they may make the symptoms worse. Before taking erythromycin, it's important to let your doctor know if you have any allergies, especially to other macrolide antibiotics. This medication may also contain inactive ingredients that could cause allergic reactions, so it's essential to talk to your pharmacist about any concerns. Before using erythromycin, make sure to discuss your medical history with your doctor or pharmacist, especially if you have kidney disease, liver disease, or a certain type of muscle disease. Erythromycin can affect the heart rhythm, which can lead to serious symptoms that require immediate medical attention. The risk of this condition may be increased if you have certain medical conditions or are taking other drugs that affect heart rhythm. It's important to inform your doctor of all the medications you are taking and any underlying medical conditions. Low levels of potassium or magnesium in the blood can also increase the risk of heart rhythm issues when taking erythromycin. It's important to discuss this with your doctor, especially if you are using certain drugs or have conditions like severe sweating, diarrhea, or vomiting. Erythromycin may also affect the effectiveness of live bacterial vaccines, so it's essential to inform your healthcare professional before getting any immunizations or vaccinations. Before undergoing any surgery, it's important to inform your doctor or dentist about all the medications and products you are using, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. For older adults, it's important to be aware that they may be more sensitive to the side effects of this drug, especially hearing loss and heart rhythm issues. If you are pregnant, it's important to discuss the use of this medication with your doctor. Additionally, if you are breastfeeding, make sure to consult your doctor before continuing to breastfeed while using this medication.
When taking erythromycin stearate, it's important to be aware of potential drug interactions. Always keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. This includes prescription and non-prescription drugs, as well as herbal products. Certain medications, such as digoxin, may interact with erythromycin stearate. It's also important to be cautious of other drugs that may affect the heart rhythm, as well as those that can affect the removal of erythromycin from your body. Erythromycin can also slow down the removal of other drugs from your body, which may affect how they work. It's important to discuss any potential interactions with your doctor before starting or stopping any medications. Additionally, be aware that this medication may interfere with certain lab tests, so make sure to inform lab personnel and all your doctors that you are taking erythromycin stearate. As always, consult with your doctor or pharmacist for more detailed information about potential drug interactions and how they may affect you. If someone takes too much erythromycin stearate and experiences severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, they should call 911 or their local poison control center immediately. In the U.S., residents can call 1-800-222-1222, and in Canada, residents can call a provincial poison control center. This medication is for your use only and should not be shared with others. It has been prescribed specifically for your current condition, so do not use it for another infection unless instructed by your doctor. If you forget to take a dose, take it as soon as you remember. If it's close to the time for your next dose, just skip the missed one. Take your next dose at the usual time. Do not take two doses at once to make up for the missed one. When storing erythromycin stearate, keep it at room temperature and away from light and moisture. Do not store it in the bathroom. Make sure to keep all medications out of reach of children and pets. Do not flush erythromycin stearate down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless specifically instructed to do so. When the medication is expired or no longer needed, be sure to properly discard it. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance on how to do this properly. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.